Pines. Welcome to Rex Pines TV. I'm Vanigo Sign. Please stand for Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. And now for our school mission statement. We the Patriots achieve greatness through high expectations, passion, and perseverance. Thank you. You may now be seated. Today is Wednesday, May 26, 2021. Let's go to Randall to see what's happening today in history. Thanks, Ronnie. Today in history, May 26, 1927, Henry Ford and his son Edsel drove the 15 millionth Model T out of the factory, which was the first famous automobile's for official last day of production, also known as Tim Lizzo. It was an affordable and efficient Model T that helped accelerate the automobile's introduction into American society in the 20th century, allowing the U.S. government to construct new roads for citizens to enjoy the ride. Now let's go to Scott for sports highlights. Thank you, Randy. Today's sports highlights are brought to you by the Patriots. Basketball fans, it's officially the best time of the year because NBA playoffs are finally here and the game started last weekend with a bang. There are some surprising matchups in the first round and shockers like the Phoenix Suns qualifying for the first time in 10 years. Both championship teams, LA Lakers and the Heat, have already lost their first games, which tells us already that this season is going to be intense. What are your predictions? Now let's go to Own Alicia for the lunch report. Thank you, Chris. Today's lunch is turkey salami and cheese sandwich, whole wheat bun, romaine salad, baby carrots, ranch dressing, orange juice, mustard, and milk. Bon appetit. Now let's go back to Vani. Thank you, Aunt Alicia. Scholars, only a few more days left for the FSA. Here are the upcoming May FSA dates. Patriots, the book fair is going on now, and it will end Sunday, May 30th. Get your parents to join you in searching for some amazing books online, while also helping support our school. Link to the book fair is in the description below. Now let's see what the weather is going to be like today with David. Thank you, Vani. Today's weather in Pembroke Pines, Florida is forecast to be 88 degrees Fahrenheit and probably cloudy. Looks like the clouds are out. So it might be a good day to play some sports. Now let's go to Simon for the joke of the day. Thank you, Thee. And here's today's joke of the day. Why does Snoop Dogg carry around an umbrella? Oh, Jizzle. Now let's go to Solomon for today's birthday. Thanks, Samuel. That was hilarious. Today's birthday boy is Ethan Well. Happy birthday. Now let's go back to Lonnie. Thank you, Solomon. Patriots, don't forget your past expectations or represent. Present yourself positively, act kindly towards others, treat the schools and merit respectfully, and succeed at everything. Congrats to Miss Samuel, Miss Maynard, Miss Newton, Miss Calabrese, Mr. Bonilla, Miss Mraz, Miss Alvarez, Miss Ian Denqua, Miss Cavalita, Miss Yearwood, and Miss Bodie. You had the correct answer to yesterday's riddle, which was, if you drop me, I'm sure to crack. But if you give me a smile, I'll smile back. What am I? The correct answer to the riddle was a mirror. Now for today's riddle. What can you put between seven and eight to make the result greater than seven but less than eight? Again, what can you put between seven and eight to make the result greater than seven but less than eight? Teachers, please send your answers to pines or innocence at gmail.com for 10 a.m. in order for your response to be reviewed. Winners will announce the tomorrow's morning announcements. Everyone at RPTV would like to wish you all a wonderful Wednesday, and don't forget, remember, reunite, rise. Have a great day.